So you want a set of half doors, but you're not sure if they're really worth the money. Let's talk about it. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got a pretty interesting topic and I know that you've already seen the title. So uh, we're heading down south a little bit. I am meeting a guy to pick up some half doors for my JK, uh, Mopar half doors, and uh, we're gonna see if they're as bad as I remember them. We got them all loaded up. We are heading back home, and uh, then we'll take a closer look. So here they are in all their glory. We got a factory set of JK half doors. Now, they're not in perfect shape, of course. Got some scratching here. And uh, frankly, that's not really a big deal because in the event that I keep them, they're gonna get wrapped anyways. But that takes me to my next point. In the event that I keep them. And frankly, I'm not really sure if I'm going to or not because uh, there's a plethora of reasons why half doors are terrible. So I think we can all agree, half doors look pretty dang good when they're on a Jeep. And looking good is one very important part, but that still doesn't answer the whole question of, are they actually any good? And to get to the bottom of that, I came up with a couple different scenarios to kind of show you my thoughts. Okay, so let's assume that it's just about dinner time and you've got one thing on your mind. That is a McDonald's trip. And of course, you drive a Jeep, you probably have a modified exhaust, larger tires, you know, all of that stuff that doesn't really help it to be a quieter ride. That's no big deal because you've got glass windows, you've got full steel doors, so you've pretty much adjusted and uh, gotten used to having to speak up a little bit, to have a conversation, listen to your radio, turning it up a little bit more, you know, really, no big deal at all. But let's assume now you want half doors. And of course, with half doors, you're going to get that same level of protection as far as when it's dry out. But the noise level, the noise level is definitely a bit more. These plastic windows, as soon as you hit highway speeds, they just start flapping around like crazy. And let's just assume that while you're on the way to McDonald's, your wife calls you and says she needs you to stop at the grocery store. Of course, I'll stop at the grocery store love that place. Only one problem. You're on the bad side of town. I'm a big scary robber. I'm gonna break into this Jeep. Darn it. And if you had half doors, well, that scene would look a little bit differently. I'm a big bad robber. I'm gonna rob this Jeep. Now, of course, when they got in, well, they wouldn't find anything to steal because you just bought half doors and now you're poor. So let's assume that it's raining outside. The rain's coming down pretty good. No big deal. You've got your full doors on, you've got your power windows, and you're ready to hit that drive-through at McDonald's. So of course, you tell them you want that 10-piece nugget, because everybody loves the nugs. And uh, you pull up to the window, now it's time to pay. Got a little bit of water on your window, it's been raining, no big deal. We're gonna go ahead and roll it down and uh, see how it works. Nice. Give them their money. Maybe you get a couple little drips on you. 
Again, no big deal. Just water. We're not going to melt. And if you're at that same McDonald's drive-thru in the rain with half doors, this is what it looks like. Thanks. Ah, fresh nugs. So, as you guys can see, maybe half doors aren't the answer for you. Unless, of course, you're not driving the Jeep every day and the only time you're going to drive the Jeep is uh, when it's nice and dry out. And in that case, don't even bother with those uppers. I'm going to go inside and change my shirt. Hit the like button, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. This is what my life has come to. Y'all better subscribe. How did people see through these things? Being a robber is hard.